This video is to show my workflow with the Nine Barista Stovetop Espresso Maker. This is our kitchen layout, which explains the main reason why we picked up a Nine Barista. Although our kitchen isn't the smallest, we have limited counter space available for storage. There's really no place to put even a small espresso machine, and all the outlets are in use already by the electric appliances that we have. The Nine Barista is stored unassembled by the stove. Here's where the grinder lives. It's a Baratza Virtuoso Plus, which has been pretty good. The first thing I do is to fill the bottom chamber with water. There's a mark on the inside of the chamber that shows how much to fill it. The total volume is 120 milliliters. Next, there's a heat transfer plate that goes on the burner. This is used with either gas or electric burners. If you have an induction stove, there's a different induction adapter plate that you would use. The middle part gets screwed onto the bottom chamber. I just have to be a little careful that water doesn't spill out as I'm putting these two parts together. Then the burner is turned on. I set it so the flames surround the bottom of the Nine Barista, which is halfway between medium and high on the burner knob on my stove. From this point, it's about five and a half minutes until the water is boiling to the point where the extraction begins. Next is grinding the beans. I'm shooting for 18.5 grams with this batch of coffee beans. I'm going to spare everyone from listening to 30 seconds of grinder noise here. The Virtuoso Plus isn't really a single dose grinder, but with a few additional pulses and shaking it around, I can get 18.5 grams of ground coffee out. I know that some of this may be left over from when I made espresso yesterday, but my results have been consistently good. Now the top part gets assembled. The Nine Barista uses a 53 millimeter basket. I bought the funnel to help with transferring the coffee from the container into the basket. I keep a toothpick near my setup as a low rent WDT tool. The coffee gets tamped and then the silicone basket cap is inserted. I make sure that it is seated well around the edge and in the middle of the puck. The top assembly is flipped over and attached to the middle and bottom parts on the stove. Now we just have to wait for the extraction to start. As I mentioned before, it takes about five and a half minutes in my hands for the extraction to start, which is why I start heating up the water before grinding the coffee. You could grind the coffee first and assemble the whole thing before putting the Nine Barista on the stove, but doing it this way saves some waiting time. Here's the extraction. My goal is 25 to 35 seconds. This one ran about 40 seconds, which is a little bit longer than what I want. You can hear the boiling increase at the end. That's how I know that the extraction is done. This espresso was very good. 
The shot was 44 grams, which is about a 1 to 2.4 ratio, maybe a little less. It was a little on the strong, bitter side compared to other espressos I've made with this batch of beans, which I could predict because the extraction was longer than what I usually go for. And here's my post-it note where I keep notes. I've written in that for next time, I'll go down on the dose to 18 grams to adjust for what I'm going for. Hope you like the video.